what is up guys and girls okay i am back at it again with another one okay so ever since uh ever since i was young i've been isolated for the entire duration of my life i've been socially isolated ever since i can remember um it's kind it's really getting to me now in the later years of my life um now that i finally hit 18 and i'm gonna have to i don't know everything is stressful for me everything like really really everything is stressful for me especially with dealing with constant chronic loneliness on top of everything else it really is does it really is not good for your mental health if you're going to be alone for this long the the fact um the fact of the matter is i've been feeling really fucking bad because of my loneliness ever since i um I want to say around 13 or 14 or 15 or 16 or something like that. Like around those years, I felt the worst. I felt the worst in my loneliness around those years because I've never had anybody to talk to. Even when I was growing up, I also, I always struggled to even make any social interactions. So I feel like that's what's really going to get to me in the later years of my life. Now that I have to wage slave knowing I basically don't have anything to my fucking name. I don't have a friend. I've never even came close to having a girlfriend, not even once. I've never had a girlfriend and I've never had any true meaning in life and my parents don't even give a fuck about me and nobody actually cares about me. So maybe hopefully I can actually have someone that cares about me in the future, but I don't know. None of that is even guaranteed, man. I've just been thinking about death a lot lately and wondering if there's actually a better place than here. Hopefully someone can actually buy a shotgun and shoot me in the head so they can actually bring me to a better place. <laughs> bring me to a much better place than here because holy shit, man. I really do not like getting up in the morning knowing I have nothing to my name and knowing I'm just a fucking nobody like everybody else in the world, man. I, the way I feel like it, the way I see it, everybody else in the world is a nobody because... Everybody else in the world is truly a nobody because we're all going to have nothing in the end. That's the sad part of life. We're all going to have nothing in the end and none of this shit even really matters. That's the saddest part of life, I think. But, yeah, I'm socially inept, man. I, I, I always struggle to even talk to people and I still am nowhere close to even having a girlfriend or any actual meaning, meaningful connections in life. Um, I don't know. I don't know why women refuse to actually... It's not that I even talk to women like that. I actually don't... I never actually tried because I already know it's it's fucking pointless. Everything in life is pointless. I'm just, just hoping I randomly get lucky with that one day. But I, I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know. I could try to persevere through this shit, but... Really, it's all fucking meaningless in the end, so I don't know what I'm persevering for. I don't even know what I'm... <sighs> like, genuinely, genuinely nowadays, I don't even know what I'm waking up in the morning for. None of this shit even matters. Deep down... <sighs> deep down, I know none of this shit even matters, or we're just gonna die anyway. And that's the saddest part about life, it's the fact that none of this shit even matters, we're just gonna die anyway, and nobody really cares or gives a fuck. That's why, that's why I'm, that's why most days I wake up, I genuinely hope to get murdered because it, at least somebody else would be putting me out of my suffering instead of me doing it myself. Not that I can't do it myself or anything, it's just, it's way too much to think about if you have to do it yourself, you know? But, yeah. But I've never had a girlfriend or any actual genuine meaning or reason to get up in the morning. I've never, I've never had one and I don't think I ever will. And there's barely any reason to persevere through the hardships of life anymore. Knowing that you will never have shit to your name. Knowing that you will never truly have any real friends and nobody gives a fuck about you. And you're going to be on your own from now on because your parents don't really even give a fuck about you. It's really, it's depressing to even think about. But hopefully I actually do meet someone off of this. I don't know where else I would meet someone because nobody actually fucking, nobody cares about me no matter what I do. Truly, no matter what I do, nobody actually gives a fuck about me. And that's the saddest part. That's the saddest part about all of this is that nobody, genuinely nobody cares at the end of the day. 
genuinely nobody cares and none of it matters at the end of the day. Because you will genuinely just be suffering until the, the very second you die. You will be suffering until the very second you die. And none of it truly has any meaning. None of it has any actual reason for being except you're just going to fucking waste your life away. <sighs> waste your life away doing the... Waste your life away knowing the fact that death is inevitable and it's always looming over your head and the fact that there's genuinely nothing that you can do about it once it actually happens. It's it's scary, but at least there's some way out of this life, out of the constant suffering. I don't even know if and I don't even know if it's better than this life, but at least there's some way out. I didn't even ask to be here, man. Like, none of us actually ask to be here. We're just suffering for no actual fucking reason. And it's just the only thing we can do until it, it, until death eventually happens. But we don't even know what death is. And there's truly no way to actually know what death is. Besides dying, of course. But, yeah. This is going to be a long time until that happens, or a short time, it depends, it really depends on what what actually happens in life, but yeah, I've been socially isolated for my whole life, man, I feel, I don't feel like anything I do truly matters, I've never had any real connections like I keep saying it but it's really true I've never actually had anybody to actually genuinely relate to throughout my entire life I've just been struggling even when I was in school I was still struggling and I was just genuinely chronically alone with the nobody with the nobody just trying to survive trying to just get through the day I feel like life life in general is just trying to get through the day and that shit is hard enough. Life in general is just trying to get through the day. Literally, the, <clears throat> and that's all you can really do. Life doesn't have any deeper meaning. You're born for pretty much no reason if you're just going to die anyway. And none of this shit has any meaning. Every day I wake up, I hope to get... Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. <laughs> my bad but every day i wake up i hope to get fucking killed because none of this shit even matters none of this shit even matters um <sighs> death is the worst thing about life but it's the only thing it's truly the only thing that can free you from this reality there's no there's nothing else that can free you from this reality other than the fact that you're gonna die soon so really what what can you do what else can you do what else can you do besides die? That's the only that's the only real thing you can actually do to free yourself from this reality. So the only thing left to do to really if you're, if you're struggling and on your own and struggling to pay rent and bills and everything else like that, you know the re the regular retarded life shit that comes along with being an adult or whatever, and you're socially inept and shit with no friends and women or women or women, especially in Gen Z times. It's going to be hard as hell, bro. It's going to be hard as hell trying to even find some reason to keep going. There's genuinely, as bad as life is right now and as bad as life is going to get in the future, there's genuinely no reason to keep persevering through this shit. You can try to, try to say it has some meaning, but I don't feel like the meaning was ever really there if it even had some meaning. It doesn't really matter if you're rich or poor. We're all going to fucking die soon. I just hope if I die, it's by a way I want to. Or at least sooner. At least sooner than most people. Because I don't really value life. I don't think there's a genuine way to value life. Like, as sad as it sounds, I don't think there's a genuine way to value life. You're just going to be working until you die. I don't know. Money? Money just gives me the biggest fucking headache of all. Especially when I'm alone and there's nobody to actually help me out of this shit, man. There's genuinely nobody to actually help me out of this shit. And I'm just going to be alone for the rest of my life. And the f and that that alone is enough to make somebody blow their fucking head off. Knowing the fact that they're just going to be alone in this shit for the rest of their life. Knowing they actually genuinely have nobody by their side to actually help them throughout this shit. That alone it just makes somebody want to blow their head off. 
to like forget all the other shit like that alone is enough to make someone it is enough to make someone wish for death like that fact alone knowing you're going to be alone for the rest of your life like i've been i'm bit i've been tired of being alone man like i've been alone forever since i can remember and i'm still alone to this very day i don't have nobody i can truly trust and i can call my friend I'm not. I'm nowhere closer to actually getting in real life friends. At the very minimum, I would want in real life friends, but <clears throat> there's only a. I only get along with like black pillars and nihilists. Well, I wouldn't even say that because I don't even talk to that many black pillars or nihilists. But I, <laughs> I, I let's just say I would. I would. I think I would prefer to get along with people with a similar mindset to me because. I can't be the only one that thinks none of this shit actually matters. It doesn't really matter what you do in life. You're just going just gonna to die, sadly. Like, sadly. Nobody wants to die. Truly, nobody, I don't, uh, truly, I feel like nobody truly wants to die deep down on the inside. It's just something that, that's going to happen anyway. So it's like, why prolong the, the suffering of life if, if it's just going to happen anyway? I don't know. It's kind of sad to think about, but it's truly the only way you can actually escape this hellhole we call existing. We're all existing for no reason, and you need to pay. You need to pay just to exist. And you can't tell me this world is fucked up in some kind of way. You need to pay just to exist. Just to live. <sighs> I don't know existing hurts my head man i most days i feel like i would genuinely be better off if i was killed if i was killed in cold blood it doesn't matter genuinely it doesn't matter what happens most days i feel like i would be better off dead like genuinely it would be better than struggling every day knowing nobody cares about you and knowing you're on your own and knowing that um <coughs> And knowing that it's all meaningless in the end, it would genuinely be better than the existence I'm living right now if I was dead. Like, genuinely. I feel like, like, nobody knows what death is. Death is the biggest mystery by far. But once you're dead, you don't really have to figure out what death is. You'll, you'll already know what death is by the, by the time you're dead. So, I don't know. I uh, it's not like I really had that much to even keep living for in the first place, but what I do know right now is that life is not getting better. Prices are just going up. I have nobody that I have nobody I can actually care about. I have nobody that cares about me. Um, I know my existence is kind of worthless in the grand scheme of things. I know <sighs> it's hard to think about, man. I know. Um, I know, like, uh, I know we're just existing for no reason. We all went out of this shit as soon as possible, but it's going to take a lot of fucking, it's going to take a lot of time to actually reach, reach a way to actually truly get out of this in the fastest way possible with the less suffering possible. I think the only way to truly get out of the suffering is to get shot in the head with a shotgun, like, truly. You have no chance of surviving any shot in the head with a shotgun. So I feel like truly that's the only one way to actually escape escape the hellhole you've been brought into unwillingly. The only way to truly escape what has been put before you is to just leave. In the simplest way possible, there's no... You know, death is by far the scariest part of life to most, but it's the only way to actually truly leave this hellhole. No matter, even though, like, at least when you're dead, you don't have to think about what you're going to eat tomorrow. At least when you're dead, you won't have to fucking worry about paying for food and, and um, damn near dying because you don't have enough rent money. 
and they're gonna fucking throw your ass out on the street and you're gonna have to eat moldy bread <laughs> from the fucking garbage can or some stupid shit like that but you know what i'm saying bro at least when you're dead you don't have to worry about that shit at least when you're dead you don't have to worry about um the constant struggles of life brought before you every single day like every everyone in the world is struggling with the same shit there's not a single person that isn't struggling with um with the shrug with the um the hardships of life there's not a single person in the world that isn't struggling with the hardships of life we all have to eat we all have to eat something we all have to drink something we all have to get up in the morning to pretend life is worth living when when it's just simply not we all have to uh, do this retarded shit and we get nothing in the end except dying on our deathbed and you wonder why so many people are committing fucking committing mass suicide bro for because there's literally nothing to even do in life i feel like genuinely your life is over after 18 i think genuinely because you're just going to be whatever you whatever you do from there on out is going to be for money like there's bitches who suck dick for money man there's that let that sink in there's bitches who suck dick for money like anything anything you're gonna have to do after 18 is gonna be purely for money and there's nothing you can really and there's nothing you can really do about it you have to really find something that is prof profitable or you're just gonna be fucked and uh, that's stressful as shit to think about in itself really that's no worrying about having for me i think worrying about having to keep up with money for the rest of your life is more stressful than dying is more stressful than just getting shot in the fucking head and dying or i mean preferably getting shot in the head with a shotgun and instantly dying would be much preferable but you know trying to find out a way to live trying to find out a way to live and it doesn't even matter because you're gonna die anyway we're all gonna die anyway so trying to trying to say there's a deeper meaning to life and saying there's an actual reason to live in, until you see out the end doesn't really make any sense to to me i know it probably doesn't make any sense to you either we're just gonna be forced to live in, until we die and dying is not good man dying I mean, we're all forced. <sighs> we're all forced into existence without even knowing what death is. But we all know we have the ability to die whenever we want to. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that is that is a given. We are all gonna die, and there's really nothing we can do about it except just wait for it to happen. I guess. Really, from the moment you're born, you're just waiting to die. And I think I've heard another guy say this, bro. Like, but from the moment, from the very second you're born, you're just waiting until you eventually die. And there's nothing you can do about it. And, and life is random. and It's never fair, man. It's never fair for anyone. We're literally just going to be suffering until our inevitable death. And there's <sighs> jack shit we can do about it, except... I don't know. Wait and wait until it happens. Like you can be scared of death all you want to, but the fact of the matter is, it's gonna happen eventually, and there's really no way out of it. There's no true way out of escaping death. I mean, not that there really was ever a way to escape it, but the fact that it's gonna happen anyway really does really does sit sit with me sometimes. Even though I, I don't like my life, I, I've never liked my life, I genuinely wake up hoping somebody shoots me in the head every single day, but with a shotgun, like, while I'm sleeping in my bed, I just want whoever, whoever actually has access to a gun to just shoot me in the fucking head so I never have to deal with this life anymore. That's a genuinely a constant, a constant thought within my head because when you when you see the world for what it is and realize none of this shit actually matters you're just gonna be 
devastated with your with with your very reality. You're just gonna be devastated with your very reality, knowing none of this shit genuinely matters in the end. And it's not like life is getting better, man. As I said before, it's not like life gets better. And especially if you're on your own and you have nobody to actually help you and your parents fucking suck and everything else like that, you you know the whole stick with that. But if you're on your own and you genuinely have nobody to help you, it's not like life gets any better. Especially when you're a, re- a, social, a social reject and a socially retarded ass nigga like me. It's not like life even gets any better. It's not like life could get any better. Like... <clears throat> I don't know. It's hard to think about life. It's really, it really is hard to think about life. I'm not gonna be able to live for much longer, bro. If I keep, if I keep struggling the way I'm struggling right now, I know I'm not gonna be able to live for much longer, man. I genuinely have nobody to help me. Every day is, uh, every day is fucking bad for me, man. Like genuinely waking up. Is the worst thing that is ever created in human history. I can't wait until somebody actually just blows my head off or something, bro. Because living like this is not living at all, man. I'm pretty sure. And we're all going to die anyway, man. All of us die in the end. So really, there's no point in struggling for any of this. If if I'm going to die anyway, I would prefer to die now, please.